Okay, this is part two lesson for John Lennon Imagine. If you want to uh, try to play it all the way through once I've taught you this, just have a look at my part one lesson, which uh, was one of the first lessons I recorded, and uh, have a bash at it. But hopefully after this lesson, I'll get you all playing it, okay? So I'm going to teach it as if you've you know, never watched me before for the people which haven't, but for the people who have, you probably know the chords now. But let's go through it anyway. In the first fret, second string from the bottom with the index finger with the middle finger bring him down to the third string down in the second fret okay in the third fret come down with your ring finger onto the second string down that's your C okay and then what we want is we want F which is with your uh, uh, index finger the two bottom strings in the first fret okay and then what we want is the fourth string down uh, in the second fret with the middle finger, with the ring finger come down to the second string down in the third fret, and with your little finger whack him on the third one down in the third fret. That's your F. Okay, so basically the start of it goes C and F. Okay, but to make it sound correctly, what we do is when you're holding C like so, remove the index finger which gives you this sound okay then back to C so C remove the index finger to the F okay and just play that through imagine this no I won't bother trying to sing this like that Basically, that's the verse. Okay. And then what we do is we go to the next part, which is F, C. Okay. We already know these. And then what we've done is a chord I've never taught you before is in the first fret, bottom string with the index finger. Okay. With the middle finger, come down to the fourth string down in the second fret. And with the ring finger here, put that on the second string from the bottom, okay? That's called D minor. Okay? And then the other hard chord I'm going to give you is if pretty much like the F in the first fret, hold the two bottom strings down with the index finger, okay? And then what we do is with the uh, middle finger, come down to the fourth string down in the second fret, Okay, with the ring finger come down to the second string down in the third fret and with the thumb try to hold the bass note. Okay, so that is it's an D minor seven. Okay, so what we do is we go F you may say D minor then to G so the, like I'm shortening this lesson because obviously uh, I've only got 10 minutes you can load up on YouTube um, so I'll have to shorten it but with this second uh, fret put your index finger on the second string down the middle finger comes onto the top string of the third fret okay with your ring finger in the third fret the very bottom string that's your G okay so if we start with the start we'll go up to the end of that point okay so we go C Remove the index, F, okay, C, remove, F, okay, go straight into the next part, F, C, D minor, D minor 7, G, okay, and then you can go back to the start then, to the C. But then what happens in the next part, now this is a route going to be hard to teach you, it's really blimmin' hard actually, it took me a while when I was learning, is what happens is you play all of that part, then it goes, you may see F, G, I'm a dreamer to C. And then what we do is remove the index again and play that. Okay. And then what we do is go to an E7, right? So that's a G major 7 slash E, okay? 
then what we do is we go to an E7, which is the third string from the bottom with your index finger in the first fret, okay? And with the middle finger, come down to the second string down in the second fret. That's E7, okay? Simple chord. And then keep the E7 shape and just drop your ring finger on the second string from the bottom, okay? Right, now you'll have to practice that. So C, C major 7, E, E7, and then this one's just like an E7 really. You can drop your little finger on that, or you can do your middle, if you can get your finger over enough. Okay, so that little slot sounds. and then the little finger on the E7 basically with that and then it goes when the world this world. and then you just go back to okay now these are all the notes I'm showing you so if you want to watch from part one you'll be able to figure out basically I'm playing the same all the way through. I'm actually shortening the part two lesson so the best bet is listen to the original. Uh, but basically that's that. Just let me see how I'm doing for time because I might do a uh, another lesson. Uh, we've got six minutes. Okay, uh, what we're on? Seven minutes, right. Okay, I think quickly I can get it in this lesson. But if you feel it's rushed, let me know and I'll try to go over it again. But basically, at the start, all I want to show you is it goes C. And then you've got the little riff, which you play on every one. Okay, now the way we do this is you play C, remove the index, it's normal. Okay, and then with your middle finger, put him on the fourth string down, which he is anyway. Okay, and pluck the string and hammer on with the ring finger. And then pluck the fifth string down, okay, on its own. So it goes, then back to the C. Okay. to the third fret and pluck the, where my index finger is showing here the fifth string on its own with nothing so that's it and then back to C okay I can show you what this hand is doing quickly for those of you which don't understand okay so we go then we go just pluck that that the third from the bottom, the second from the bottom, so, and that's it. Alright, I hope that helps you, anyway, so uh, there's a little lesson, cheers.